I like competing and I like winning. At Booth, you realize what's happening, and what happens to you there is you learn how to think, how to uh, frame business issues, uh, think through them, and come up with solutions. And so you become very facile at taking complicated business uh, dynamics and sifting through what are important issues and unimportant issues, and then coming up with answers and solutions um, through a framework. So you find yourself kind of solving problems in a variety of disciplines the same way over and over again. And I think at some point you just say, oh, I know how to do this, even though it's a different subject. Um, and I think that's part of the beauty of the of, uh, of Booth and the discipline that they put around. The president and I met uh, at first on the basketball court. I think we've played together many, many times. Uh, and so we had that sort of relationship as guys working out. I was the treasurer in the 2008 campaign, and I was the treasurer in the 2012 campaign. Uh, but they were two very different campaigns. You know, it was a different dynamic. It was a rising star um, who had this great momentum and a viral sort of dynamic with respect to the growth of his following. Uh, and it was a different process. And, uh, you know, we were, built the campaign and, and we were campaigning and building the infrastructure all at the same time. And so we were bolting on the wings as we were headed down the runway uh, during the first campaign. And the second campaign was very different. I mean, it was four years of the opposition spending a lot of money trying to make the president into something that he was not or into something that they thought they could defeat. I enjoyed uh, interacting with and, and uh, spending time with those folks and developing relationships. Uh, that's fun. Uh, you know, politics in and of itself. Yeah. I like competing and I like winning. Uh, and uh, so I found that part of it very rewarding. But it's a, it's a slugfest, man. That's the toughest thing you'll ever do. I mean, I, I, I didn't run, uh, but that, that there's no harder, more challenging thing to do than get elected president of the United States. It takes a really strong uh, person to develop a plan, begin executing a strategy, and realize that half the people are against you, right? Uh, or will fashion a way to position themselves as your opposition. It's tough. And uh, I'm not sure how many CEOs uh, would ever get used to that. Because as a CEO, you're used to organizing people around a plan and a strategy, and nobody would dare. To, once people agree and you, know, you work as a team to come up with a strategy, then everybody's, everybody's in. What I noticed in the industry was uh, there was no true national brand in parking and that um, uh, because the operators didn't really own a lot of real estate, they had management contracts, very thin margin management contracts with 30-day cancel cancelable uh, clauses in them, cancellation clauses in them, that there wasn't a compelling rationale, financial rationale for these owners to invest in technology. And so there was uh, uh, an opportunity to improve performance by investing in technology. We decided to leverage technology in a way to enhance our service. And so a reservation system, uh, a frequent Parker program that's all technologically div driven, a way to communicate with our customers through the internet, linking all of our facilities around the country via a virtual private network back to Chicago uh, so that we can see on a real-time basis what our occupancies are, what our revenues are, and we can respond to the market. 41 locations at 25 airports around the country, multiple locations at some airports. Um, there are a lot of key markets that we're not in and we'll keep trying to expand to get to those. Uh, and then there's the international opportunity.